Hey y'all. Well, here we are on a Thursday, September the 5th, 2019. Had to jump on real quick, the sunset. Don't have but a little light left, and doing a little work on the the uh, potential cattle pen here, uh, right as we close up the evening. But I had to come on here and and uh, give a special day greeting to uh, hands down my best friend. I guess uh, I was kidding with him today. It was a nickel shy of four score years ago that uh, he started out. My dad's celebrating his 75th birthday today, and, and uh, well, he's he and I have seen some things. I'll tell you, I uh, enjoyed having a lunch with him today, and just uh, was reflecting this afternoon on on things, and kind of had a rough summer with everything considered. I think the the heart of it is just getting thrown off a of routine and plans. Y'all ever have plans that just didn't work out quite like you'd hope? <laughs> well. For me, it was this old garden and and things and some other items, but uh, I took on a, a job back right after Mother passed that uh, probably shouldn't have got involved with, and it's eat up every one of my days off since then, and several thousand miles and almost as many dollars. But I think I've just about got it got it knocked out. But uh, I've truly thrown things off here on the farm and and getting things I wanted to get done. And uh, just kind of had that mind shift today that uh, it's almost over, it's almost behind me, and I can uh, get back to just living like I intended to. <laughs> I uh, stopped off today at a local spot, and I, uh, I guess you could consider it somewhat of a, <laughs> a rescue. Lord mercy, they had more chickens and they had room. And uh, I asked them, I said, goodness, y'all got a lot of chickens little babies I so said they they're packed in there pretty tight and looks like some of them are getting smothered what would you take for a few of them older ones and they said how many do you want I said well I said uh, depends on the price and uh it was rock bottom that's all I'll say I don't want to get them in trouble but uh we relieved them of uh well we got plenty of chickens let's put, put it that way I bought a whole tub for next to nothing pennies on the dollar but uh, and pull things in some rough shape. We've got them in the coop out there, got them fed and watered. I had to separate some of them because uh, I'm telling you, I don't think they'd have made another night in that old store. But uh, I got tickled as I'm looking at it. I think it uh, counts up to 200 baby chickens in there. And uh, <laughs> kind of hit me. All that uh, upsetness and problem with that old bobcat wiping out the whole flock and uh looking at dad's life and thinking about all the the, the sacrifices he's made and just in general went back to an old bible verse it may not completely apply but it just kind of related to me today it's in actually uh old testament my namesakes chapter verse 2 no, chapter 2, verse 25, talking about he'll restore what the canker worm has destroyed. Uh, we didn't have no canker worm around here, but uh, that old bobcat, I guess, had just as many letters in it. <laughs> but we got more chickens now than, than we had back then. And uh, two big old guardians, and ain't letting nothing happen to them. I, I can't say enough about these dogs. They take shifts, is what I'm seeing. They, uh, one of them will sleep a little while and then they'll tap out and switch spots and the other one will sleep and they'll just go around the clock. Just watching all night. And those chickens are totally safe. Isn't that something? We're just counting the blessings of a godly father tonight. I'm so blessed to, to have him. He's been a husband extraordinaire to my mother and uh, a father to me and my sister. A granddad to my children and great granddad and a friend and a godly man all of his life so so proud to call him dad so just want to jump on real quick and wish him an extra special happy birthday as uh i kind of pick up the pieces from a rough summer <laughs> and we'll uh we'll get things back on track kind of get rejuvenated if you will 
and uh, shake it off and keep moving, right? Let me do a quick roll call while we got a little light, and I'm going to have to jump off here. Just wanted to say howdy to y'all. Let's see. We got uh, Roland's checking in. How are you? And there's Miss Sharon. How are you doing, Mary? Carrie, I'm sorry. Uh, appreciate you checking in this evening, Miss Angie. Hope y'all are faring that old storm quite well. Talked to my daughter Faith. She's in Charleston area. Of course, you know, they just bought a house here a couple of weeks ago, and they uh, they were spared any damages to their direct place. They've got some trees down, and then hit the house. And spared on the flooding, so they've fared it well. Prayers for the rest of y'all up on that east coast. There's Kimberly saying howdy. Uh, Viola's checking in. Miss Dorothy, how are you? I'm going to need those two roosters you was talking about for sure. <laughs> uh, that's Joe. I guess I'll have to call this old one rooster if it stays by himself i have to call him solomon those of y'all that know much about solomon's life will understand 200 hens is a lot to keep up with <laughs> pamela's checking in let's see here there's miss patricia my buddy ray's on how are you bud aggie's down in allen or up in allen i guess miss cheryl swain saying happy birthday to my dad beautiful day in the south you're officially the chicken whisperer <laughs> oh goodness Judy Stout from Plano, how are you? Margaret saying howdy. There's Miss Aggie a couple of times. And Miss Allison saying howdy. Andrew, how are you in Florida? Hope y'all fared well. Uh, there's Connie Allison checking in and Kelly. Uh, Todd, Kimberly, and there's Ricky Joe and Joanne Smith. Barely made it, listening to a few. Okay, all right, well, let me see real quick. I'll go, uh, I don't think you can get an idea for how many of them's in here? We'll just put it this way. It's 180 some odd quarter piece. So I wasn't gonna walk away from that deal. Uh, some things normally 350 a head. And uh, shoot, you can't hatch them out that cheap. So I, I just jumped them all up. But we have got a string of snake in here. I don't think that's what you want. But that's a bunch of chickens, y'all. <laughs> I probably lose about 20 of them over the course of it. That's just how it goes. But uh, they uh, got plenty of room to move tonight, anyway. And we'll we'll see. I may have chickens for sale in addition to eggs. I did the math. I don't know what I'm going to do if they all start laying here in 20 weeks. That's going to be about 16 dozen eggs a day. Guess I'll be eating everything eggs, won't I? All right, y'all have a good evening. Be the light, and I guess we'll uh, talk to you down the road. And uh, just hold the course. Don't give up. It can get bad for a little while, but things will turn if you just stay stay on course. Have a good week. Be the light. <laughs>